Hey folks, how's it going? We're checking out more of the royal family. Hopefully you guys had a fantastic day. Alright, last episode, man. Anthony has a girlfriend now and they're making fun of him because of it. Well, making fun of him because they're saying that she's too good for him, essentially. And he's he's a, a music manager as well, but can't even find like a gig for the band. And of course they made fun of him for that as well, so that was pretty good. It looks like Nan's gonna be staying with them pretty soon because of the cataract surgery. And of course, Jim isn't happy about that, but I look forward to that happening, man. I'm not sure if it's going to happen in this episode or the next episode, but I look forward to her uh, driving that dude crazy. She doesn't seem to bother too many people. Mostly, she just irritates Jim. Other people just, you know, seem like everybody else just kind of brushes her off. Barb gets a little, like, you know, upset that her mom's, like, saying some goofy stuff, but for the most part, it's Jim. So, yeah, man, let's just go ahead and jump into it, folks. We'll talk about it more at the end. A weekly look at what's in store in tomorrow's world. It's all here from food flavorings to neuroscience. Tonight we find out what's happened to baby Cody, who we saw last week fighting for his life and a person from brain damage. Has the new... So, the latest thing out of Africa, Craig Doyle takes a trip on top of the rainforest. The mission is oh, to go in no. search of bolder tasting food. They're going to wake her up. And Lindsay Fallow goes rock climbing in the <laughs> Way. He's so cold blooded. That was great. But first, the invention from New Zealand that could save newborn babies around the world. It's not worth buying maternity ones. I mean, I'm not going to have another, no way. Mm. How are you and Dave getting on? I don't think he realises what hard work it is for me carrying another person around. Oh, man. I was looking in my baby book. Guess what size it is now? What size? The size of an orange. An orange? Oh, Denise. <laughs> How lovely. <laughs> oh, man. I feel dead sad when I see Nana with that patch on her eye. She wasn't looking in there for baby things for you. Oh, was she? Just one eye? Yeah. Oh. She said there were two dear though. Mm. The thought was there. Yeah. Do you think she'll stay more than the week, man? Oh, well, she wants to. Don't dad say anything to your dad yet. He'll hit the roof. Mm. Oh, you know. I'd had that couch upside down and everything. She's like a bloody vulture. <laughs> You haven't unplugged everything in the house. Had the same bloody handkerchief up his sleeve for four days. I tell you what, I'd love to have a look in that handbag. We may as well have a mongrel because that's all she does is eat shit and sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I bet she can hear him. And look. <laughs> so pissed. You see that eye patch? That could come off. That's just doing that for effect, isn't it? Hey, never mind, only a couple more days, then she'll be away, won't she? Off back to her own bloody place. Yeah. Hey, then there's the other eye, though, isn't there, Jim? Oh, don't be saying that, will you, lad? Do you fancy a beer tonight? Oh, yeah. Well, look, I'm already in Barbara's bad boo, so when she comes in, you mind me, okay? Well, Denise will go mad at me then, though, Jim. Well, don't worry about that, I'll sort her out, that's no problem. You're yeah, trying to give me a trouble. <sighs> There's no sweeter sound, is there? <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Oh, you're all right, Cheryl. Yeah. How are you? Well, uh, you know, just try not to overdo it, really. Yeah. Ooh, Denise. Have you told Cheryl? About what? About what size it is now. Oh, yeah. Cheryl, guess what size it is now? I don't know. The size of an orange. An orange? <laughs> And I'm godmother to that orange. Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> hey Cheryl, how are you getting on at Weight Watchers? Brilliant, thanks. Yeah, I'm doing really well. Oh, do you want a biscuit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can cut some out tomorrow. She said that before she barely finished finish the sentence. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can have stuff and then cut things out, you know, the next day or something. Oh, that's very good, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Thing. <laughs> 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 He's so bogus. Exit, exit. <laughs> Oh, 
no. <sighs> it's a laughable pain. <sighs> Terrible when you wear up. Yeah. Was she a young girl, Dave? Yeah, she was a model. Was she? Hmm? What was it called? Tattoo. Hey, boss. The plane. <laughs> oh, was he in it? That little dwarfy one? No. I'm going now, Bob. I've just come in to look at Nana. She's sleeping. Whatever you do, don't wake her up. Is that the eye she had the cataract taken out of? No, it was the other one. She's wearing that patch to help her to stop smoking. <laughs> of course it was that bloody eye. Jim, ignore him, love. Hey, you don't want to take her up to the police thing for a couple of weeks, do you? I'm going back now. I'm going to go and blend some vegetables for my supper. Oh, how oh. well, lovely. Yeah. Very dynamic, that channel. <laughs> <laughs> What's all this about blending vegetables? Well, she's just giant Weight Watchers. Weight Watchers? A room full of fat ass women paying loads of money to be told not to shovel food into their gobs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's sticking God. to it, though, do not she? Yeah. <laughs> Mary was saying she'd had to get her in all these low fat spreads and all sorts. Mm. She even got her own compartment in the fridge. What's it called, the freezer? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> well, should we just go for the last hour then? Yeah, okay. Talk to Barbara. Oh. We're having a nice time here, aren't we? There's no need for you to go out. You don't need to go out, Dave. Oh, nice time here. I just thought I'd take you down for a drink. Yeah, well, it doesn't want to go, it's just said. No, we don't want to go, Dave. Bash that. <laughs> no plan B. <laughs> oh, shit. That's me. It's all your face. No. I've not seen Emma tonight, Anthony. No. Where is she? I've gone to the pictures with a friend. What's up with him? <laughs> what do you say that for, Jim? You, you know he hasn't got much confidence. Well, she's taking him for a ride. I don't know why he's bloody bothering with her. But you haven't even met her. Well, we may as well tell him straight before he starts spending a load of money on her, before she dumps him. Oh, that's all anything ever boils down to for you, Jim, isn't it? Money. That's all you ever think about. Dad, he was dead tight on Anthony then. He was singing Tone Between Two Bloody Lovers. That's a joke. Mm. Poor Anthony. He looked dead upset, didn't he? Yeah. What time do you want me to come round? Don't worry about it, Dave. To be honest, I think she'll need to stay another week. Another, another bloody reason. week? Over for my dead it. body. <laughs> she thinks the world of you. Oh, she thinks the bloody world of me? Today she had a family-sized bag of bloody revels. Did she offer me one? Did she shite? She sat on her big fat ass, announcing every one that she put into her big fat gob. Oh, no. Oh, coconut. <laughs> oh, orange. Oh, malt bloody teasers. Oh. Is that it, then? <laughs> we can't look after my own mother because she wouldn't share a bag oh, of shit. rebels. Grow up, Jim. Me grow up? She it. makes me unbloody plug everything before we go to bed. Then she's got to sod the electric blanket on all night. If it'd been your mum and dad, God rest their souls, I'd have done anything for them. She should be in a bloody home. Well, she is in a home. She's in our home, and that's where she's staying, with a family that loves her. Ooh, caramel, I think. <laughs> Oh, it's coffee, I think it's coffee, Jim. Is it nearly time for the bill? Hello, Norm. I love you back with us, eh? I wasn't asleep. I was just resting my eyes. Of course you were, love. Oh, Denise. Hey, Nana. Oh, David. Hi, Nana. When did you come? I didn't hear you come. Oh, we've not been here long. How are you feeling now, Nana? Not so bad. It's very hard when you've got one eye and having been used to two. 
<laughs> you like this? <laughs> that specialist oh God, who operated on here. my eye. <laughs> you know what he was called? Michael Crawford. You know, like, uh, uh, Betty. <laughs> you know that program? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I heard you already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, Denise, Denise. Do you know what he said to me? Even though I'm taking the cataract out of your eye, I'm leaving the twinkle in. <laughs> That's so whack. <laughs> oh, Barbara, hope he has. Hmm. I thought she was about to pass right back out. Ooh, is it tonight? That thing with a man dressed as a chicken? I don't know. You, you know, Denise, that man, he's a chicken. Oh, it is funny. I do like that program. I don't know what you are about, Nana. Oh, David, uh, will you look in the paper? I'd hate to miss it. Do you know what it's called, Nana? No. I can't see anything that it might be, no. The man dressed like a chicken. Oh, Nana, mm. oh, it might be. Oh, might be the chicken tonight, I'd bet. No, it's not that, but I like that. Is that on tonight, David? I don't the know. But the adverts aren't going to be in here. Yeah. Well, Barbara, do you know what it's called? That thing with that man in it, dressed as a chicken. Right, oh. that's it. <laughs> Get your coat on, Dave. <laughs> so what do you say? <laughs> you can give me the Oh, no. <laughs> I was worried. I was like, he's gonna freaking lose it. I thought she was gonna turn around and tell the story to him, and that was gonna make him lose it, but I knew it was coming. Like, he's gonna get up to a boiling point in a minute. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I actually expected more of her, man. I expected to have more of a uh, Nana from like beginning to end. I expected to be sleep for what, like 90% of the episode? But that last, what, five to eight minutes or whatever was still fantastic. She, she does a great job. <laughs> Doing like the stuff that old people do that just like, you know, slowly like gets under your skin. Oh Lord have mercy. That was great. Jim was losing it. So I wonder if uh Anthony's gonna go ruin things with old girl and then he ran off to go confront her. I think that's what he said he was gonna do. Yeah, she's gonna be pissed. Cause like, you know, not showing trust and all that jazz. So he, they just ruined it for him by putting all that shit in his head and him running off and stuff. So yeah, that might be over. Um I love uh, Jim's description of Weight Watchers. <laughs> that was great. Oh, no. So, I'm guessing she's going to be in the next episode, too, maybe. So, she's going to be sitting there for two weeks. Hopefully, hopefully she is, and she's awake during the next episode. Because I would like to have a whole episode with her and Jim just freaking bickering, dude. That'd be fantastic. Do her putting the remote inside her handbag and going upstairs with it while he's, like, looking all over for it. Dude, this happened to me before when it comes to remote controls. And uh, it's one of my pet peeves, you know, when it comes to stuff. Because whenever, like, I, whenever I'm done with a remote control, well, we have a remote control bowl and I put it in there when I'm done. But if my mom comes over or, like, Tay or somebody has it or anybody who comes over, the remote always ends up lost. And I'm like, dude, how do you lose it? Just set it back on the table or put it back in the bowl. Like, what do you do with it? Uh, I remember at one point Tay actually took it into the bedroom and it fell behind the bed. So I'm like digging around the entire living room. And if you have an Apple TV or any of like these new, like, you know, if it's Amazon TV, Roku, whatever, the remotes are really small. The Apple TV remotes are super small. They're about, they're probably about that big and like this flat. They're super little. So they can select between cracks easily. So I can't stand when it gets lost, dude. Oh man, just digging around for it is like, yeah, it's, it's very frustrating. So I can't imagine somebody actually going upstairs with it in their purse. God bless them, dude. So yeah, hopefully she's in the next episode, and she's in the next episode more. That's what I'm hoping for, and um, where there's a lot more uh, bicker and stuff like that, because she definitely she slept through that entire visit that they're over, man. Uh, deep sleeper. I wish I was a deep sleeper, dude. Having to go through the house and unplug everything, dude. Oh my god, he has to do it for another week. God bless him.
All right, folks, man, I enjoyed this. This was another good episode. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. Hopefully you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. I'll see you in the next one. Later.